All right, welcome back. Here we got what episode number eight. It's uh, going to be about VT, and that's uh, visual testing NDE method. And this is kind of being sparked off of a AWS conference or workshop that I just recently got back from. And uh, <clears throat> basically, what they're going over is how how much money and time can be saved by doing more VT. Uh, I guess I was maybe oblivious to the fact that I thought welders were supposed to do 100% visual inspection on their own work anyways in the first place, but I'm guessing that doesn't always happen. So one, I'm just going to kind of go over a highlight of a really good reason why they or the powers that may be the AWS, the committee, thinks that visual inspection should happen more often. So if we just start off with our basic, you're just going to say it's a V groove joint and it's uh, got a backing strip. So say this joint is a little wide, uh, root opening wise, we put in, we're going to do two root passes and so Typically, an inspection, if it's calling out that the root has to be inspected, they're looking at the layer, not necessarily like pass one, pass two. So you got your first root pass, you do something like that. So now your second pass, you want, you know, preferably something like this. Uh, so something like that, you know, assuming that you don't have undercut here or there or whatever, it's going to turn out all right. So I've actually been asked a few times during my day job by some project managers. They're like, hey, you know what? These CWIs, they're killing us on time. You know, they're always holding up the show. They want to inspect every layer. And they ask me, is like, is that a common thing? Is it something that they can do? And I was like, well, you know what? It's, it's in their power that if that's what they want to do, they're putting their name on it saying that they did this work. So that's in their power. If you if it's really that troublesome, you can either look at hiring a second CWI to speed things up or just firing your first one and trying to get another one that, I guess, works more towards your schedule. So the idea here that this can buy, can save you money in the long run, it's like it may take longer to inspect things, but in the long run, say... You keep going, all right, so now you got this, you've got this, here, and you're going along, and say you inspect each layer, so now this first, this first root layer is good, your hot layer is good, hot pass layer, now you're getting into your inner pass layers, and something like this goes down, and the welder, you know, it's, it's kind of a skill thing, um, here, let's make this a little more apparent, actually. You might end up with something really like that. And say if you're working with um, a electrode that is whatever diameter. And you're going to try, I mean, you have to maintain your arc gap. You're not going to be able to drag on this. Sorry, you're not going to be able to drag on this edge. You don't really be able to drag on here. Because we're going to get either, they're going to call this, like if they call this layer done, then an inspector, you know, like if an inspector might be able to come in and see visually, it's like, hey, you're not going to be able to get this because your next pass you're going to end up with something maybe like this, but what you're going to see is in here, it's actually, you're not going to get complete fusion. And if you UT or X-ray this joint, a lot of times that's something that you'll see. So there's pros and cons to getting your uh, visual testing completely. And it's a, uh, like I say, it's some CWIs will require that they look at each each layer of weld because, uh, say, a lot of times you have like undercut or something. Uh, a lot, you know, if most welders or whatever, they're just gonna be like, oh, you know, 
I can I'll just adjust my electrode angle and we'll take care of that no problem. And some welders, they might be able to do that. They might have that all figured out. Less experienced welders, maybe new to the job, you know, they're not going to have that figured out. And so then that's going to be a defect that if a welder, if a CWI had inspected this layer, they would have required that that defect be probably ground out or something like maybe had increased the the bevel of the joint open a little bit or something to make it so that that's more easily weldable before the next layer gets welded on. And so it's little defects like these that though may you may think it's no big deal I'll take care of it in the next uh, weld bead but what you're going to end up with is a defect and it's going to show and when I mean when you call over your NDE your UT guys or if it's going to radiograph especially radiograph if this is an x-ray weld they have to rope off an entire area kick everybody out of there the weld further down the line is not going to be done while they're x-raying or things like that it's like all that time is wasted when a simple visual inspection right there could have prevented all that wasted time so there you have it what episode number eight visual testing it's important it should be done should it be a hundred percent all the time like that like in between each layer of weld uh, it's a questionable it's kind of a give or a take do you want to lose now or lose big later i guess i'll be an advocate that if you suspect that you have a, a under skilled workforce then I think it would be worth paying a little bit more now to ensure that you're going to be okay for any later NDE. So uh, I open the forum basically here to comment with your suggestions whether you agree with this or not down in the comments. And thank you.